So this video is sponsored by Pionex, one of the exchanges I use all the time. It's one of the main crypto brokers to Binance, so the volume is very high. The main thing that sets them apart though is that you can use free trading bots, a variety all designed to benefit from different market behaviors, whether that's up, down or sideways. You'll get 20% off all your trading fees for life with my link in the description. And if you join the Telegram, a lot of us already use it, so if you've got questions, we can try and help you out. Hello everybody, let's have a look at XRP then. I think this will be my last video for the day. Been a bit bit, bit prolific, I think, this morning. So, um, yesterday uh, the, the liquidation event uh, took place and uh, XRP was one of the uh, epic liquidators. We were watching it on the live stream last night and I was like, wow, I'm kind of excited really to see it come down to this level. Uh, and the reason for that is that there's always the chance that it will come back down to this level again for the epic long position, um, like another one. I've been doing a, a lot of uh, derivatives on, uh, on XRP specifically and uh, and uh, obviously the higher it goes because I like to close my longs you know, uh, you know quite quickly I don't really have them open for very long so uh, for these kind of reasons I suppose um, but uh, yeah the higher it goes the, the, the less I'm inclined on, on taking positions so just because we've had a liquidation event like this night like now this isn't a time to be for me anyway pl placing any longs you want strength you don't want inconsistency right at the moment we've got this um, spinning um, spinning top which is basically a candle with just as much wick end to end and and as, uh, and, uh, and body as well so it, it means that today could do anything it could do anything so there's no there's no place to be trading this today uh, but if we think about it let's think about where we could potentially go from from here so there's 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 a few levels um, one would be one dollar sixteen that's our previous top over here with a certain level of um, of, uh, of um, resistance uh, in this consolidation the consolidation which was obviously broken out and we started to go up now on the live stream I was, I was saying yesterday that there was a similar kind of vibe going on here so we had a, a move up we had a consolidation we had a breakout and then we had a a liquidation event and we actually went back down to the 200 exponential now I can't rule that out I mean I, I, it can't be ruled out we could the market could the uh, Bitcoin could come down a few more thousand percent uh, not percent God uh, but a few um, it, it could come down by a, you know, a couple of grand easily and uh, XRP is vulnerable definitely it's always been vulnerable uh, to, uh, to pull backs like that uh, because there's a lot of leverage positions on XRP at the moment there's a lot of talk about it as I see BitBoy seems to be talking about it all the bloody time not that I watch other YouTube channels but sometimes you just can't avoid this stuff he seems to have some kind of affiliation with XRP. I don't know what the deal is there. Uh, I mean, I like XRP. Let's not, let's not, let's not get it wrong. It's, it's going to work out uh, to the tune of at least $4, in my opinion. But, you know, does that mean that we're trying to take long positions from these levels and ride them? No, we don't. We just try and accumulate if you want to. Or you just hold your position and just wait. So yeah, my first level uh, where I'd be interested would be one dollar sixteen. It's also where the t the twenty one exponential is on the daily. That'd be an area of significance. But if this does break down from here, then uh, then we're talking about one dollar ten, which is more or less just where the wick uh, came down to here. And again, this is very short term time frame stuff. But again, this is because uh, we are getting into an interesting po po uh, part of the uh, of the market cycle. We don't really want to miss bottoms or potential low leveraged short uh, long positions you know so and, and again all of this isn't for me to try and catch knives on nor should it be for you it's just to see the strength versus the weakness and then prior to that so we've got one dollar ten there we've got about one dollar six from what i remember uh, that has some decent uh, confluence around these levels yeah it does they're about so again this is all very rough these are and we'll get rid of some of this we don't need all this uh, mess on here these are the levels uh, where I would be interested breaking down below one dollar six for XRP is basically where we're heading back down towards our 200 exponential again and whether we bounce from it or just you know break down from it it's, it's not for me to uh, to, to, to decide um, I would be disappointed to see us break down that far uh, already uh, but it could happen, and if it does, so be it. Um, the 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 way that XRP has, in many ways, like this very long uh, chart history, right? It came out in 2013. The reason I talk about it so frequently on the channel is because when you've got a chart which is old, uh, it means that all aspects of the chart. Uh, are more relevant than the coins that come out that were you know that have been out for months or maybe just over a year or so, you know because all all um, uh, your indicators are are made through price, volume, and time. So you you need all of those things to create moving averages and Ichimoku clouds and RSI's. Everything's all created through price, volume, and time. So the older the chart, the better it is. 
Uh, and so I've always said that XRP is, is not likely to be the best thing you've ever bought in your whole life. But what it is, is definitely a chart that's worth trading uh, because it does respect all this stuff that we talk about. So this could be just the bounce and this bounce could go on from here and that could be it and we could sail on. However, I would definitely be more interested in seeing it coming down over the next few days just to see how it behaves. It could, it could, we could have another one of these liquidation events because again, it's all based on leverage. Everybody's gone crazy with their derivatives and they've got waste on that I imagine that there's a lot of people trying to pick up their losses or just go into town on on, on positions right now where they will again get wrecked once again uh, and uh, and you know the uh, uh, anyone who's in, a, in, a, in an open position right now is essentially trying to catch a knife and they're probably doing okay but you, it's not for me <laughs> you buy into strength I don't like uh, um, uh, catching knives with uh, w at the best of times uh, but, uh, but certainly not with uh, leverage positions. So I am actually looking for XRP to head a little further down on this one and, and, and revisit some of these and test them and then see what kind of reaction we have from those. We look at the four hourly now. We are turning down and uh, and, and it does look like we want to revisit this uh, $1.16 zone. And it does. That's what it looks like to me. Um, we've had our golden cross back here, dumped into it, that's fine. Uh, retested the 200 expansion once again, you know, on that liquidation event. So I think I think the one dollar sixteen is on the cards. I think it's more likely to revisit one dollar sixteen than it is to go back up to one dollar thirty five, and um, in the short term. Uh, but with this kind of chart structure on the four hourly, it still looks good. It's an uptrend. It's still an uptrend. And if we do come down to this level, it would be the uh, the opportunity for me to, to to probably try something, depending on the reaction we had at the time, and depending on how. Um, Bitcoin is at the time. Anyway, I am going to leave it with you there. It's just a short, easy video for you to get your head around. Uh, and if you want to know more, join the Patreon. Link's in the description. Telegram's free. It's all it's all in the video. And watch out, there is a scammer who's pretending to be me. So all the anything that's affiliated with me will be on the links in the video. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a nice day. And take it easy.